get to you. I'm gonna get to you, get to you, get to you. Get to you. Mitchell became very good friends in Pittsburgh and uh, we hung out with each other all the time and then he came here, came to my house all the time and then he meets Carly. He, I get a call one day, same thing as John, he goes, I met a girl and he goes, well I really didn't meet her but I saw her from afar and I'm like, okay, alright, and he goes, well she was walking into the house when I was, when I was bailing hay and I'm like, well, where are you getting with this? So he goes, I went out to every bar that night, that week. I'm looking for her, I'm looking for her. Where is she at, where is she at? And he can't find her. So he can't find her, so he says, I'm gonna go to her front door. So he goes right to her front door, and he says, hi, I'm Mitchell. And that's where it all started. class. We actually bonded over our lack of interest in academics and more so doing our lip gloss and bronzer during lecture. <laughs> we quickly became best friends after that. We've been through a lot together. It's been what like 14 years now and counting. And um, so as we all know Carly is the most kind-hearted, most beautiful person you'll ever meet matches her smile from the outside in. She's just perfect. And she really wasn't interested in dating much when Mitchell came along. But when she was doing hair in her basement and looked out and saw someone bailing hay, all of a sudden I get a Snapchat and I guess things change. <laughs> so the Snapchat said, I quote, who's the hottie in my hay field? And <laughs> Exactly a week later, Mitchell's knocking at her door. <laughs> so pretty much the rest is history, but Mitchell and Carly, they've been my best friends now for a long time. Mitchell, I guess two years, but we hit it off immediately and I knew that they had something very special. So cheers to their, I guess, second wedding. Oh.